Okay, hello everybody. Um, this is an achieve hunt for Without Escape on Xbox One. However, you may notice the total at the top is starting with 720 gamer score. That is because I uh, this was a promotional code given to me by the publishers of this title, um, East Asia Soft Limited, and I did do a promotional stream of it. And whilst doing that, I did get 720 gamer score. However, um, I'm going to be doing an achieve hunt so that basically, if you, f uh, I will be doing the steps that that I would have done to unlock those achievements, but you're just not going to see the achievements pop on screen. Um, and then you will see um, the last few achievements I need pop, and that'll be the thousand G. Um, but yeah, that's why the clock or the, the counter is starting at 720 gamer score um, but I feel that a speedrun of this would be much more appropriate considering that um, as of this current moment of recording um, the game's save system uh, is broken, faulty and does not work which does mean that you need to complete the game in uh, one sitting. Now as you can see at the bottom left of the or, or the bottom middle of the the game window uh, it is version 1.0. Now I don't know if this issue was a thing on PlayStation. I don't know if it was an issue on uh, PC um, but I find it absolutely unforgivable that the game was released on Xbox obviously ported by East Asia Soft Limited um, with a save file that is broken. You can save once and then when you try and save over it the game just doesn't save at all. It will save your very first and then any saves that you try and do after that doesn't work and um, I found that out to my chagrin. Um, so yeah the overwrite save file function in the game is fucked. Doesn't work. So, as I said, we're going to be going through this as if I'd got zero game score in this game. Um, doing all the choices and everything, but what you'll see is uh, you, you won't see the achievements, um, which I'm going to show you, um, popping up. Oh, sorry, uh, these ones that I've already done. Um, so you won't see those pop up on screen, I'm afraid. Um, but... Uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do about that, as I said. Um, I mean, I could record this on a separate profile, but uh, I don't think I need to. As long as you do exactly what I do, um, you'll get the 1,000 gamer score. Um, so, yeah, I just want to make it clear why this achievement is very, very different to ones I've done previously I think that's that's fair that's full disclosure I've been given the game by the publishers there is a glitch which is why I'm doing the achievement starting from 720 gamer score but um, but uh, as if I'm starting the game afresh so with that being said let's play I will say, I will say what achievements I'm getting as I'm going through, so you know what to do. Right, if you ex examine these slippers here, you will get an achievement called the slippers. And uh, we want to see the number on the pad. Right, six 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 three four nine eight. Right. Oh, no, that's the bathroom. Sorry. Right, we're going to go downstairs. Right. So you know. If you click on that painting there, you can save. You can only save once, as I said, because the game's fucked. The system's busted. Right, so we're going to ring that number. 666 uh, 3498. That will pop another achievement uh, called the Call uh, Achievement. Right, we're back out. Interact with the television. And that will pop the achievement for Black Box. Right. So we now need to look at the grandfather clock. That's fine. Right, so we've got a key. So 
so we know that. So we've just examined those books. So we can now go upstairs. We're going to enter the uh, parents' bedroom. We hear the phone ringing. So once the phone's rang, we're going to go downstairs. We're going to pick up the uh, water level meter thingy. That will unlock the strange thing achievement. Right, so we're going to go back up to the bedroom that we were in. We're going to examine the picture. We're going to get a lighter. So we are now going to interact with the dresser, which is the key. It's going to give us our first of two batteries. Next, we are going to not come in here yet because I've pressed the wrong button. We are going to go downstairs. We are going to interact with uh, this doorway over here. Uh, are we? Hang on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hang on, what have I done wrong? Oh yes, I remember. I was going through the wrong door. Right, we go through there. Uh, we're going to take a sweater. There we go. We are also going to get the key in the fishbowl, which is here. Right, now we're going to go uh, inside our bedroom, not the starting bedroom. Which, oh, get up there. Which is in here. Right, and uh, if anyone's interested, we have a Mintiendo Break Cube. Obviously a Nintendo GameCube. Um, there's also a PlayStation 2 there, but they call it a Rad Castle 2. Uh, sorry, a Rad Station 2. Um, and if you're actually zooming closely, you'll see that's an Xbox 360 case for Fable 3. Uh, a GameCube box for Worms 3D. And what I believe is a Banjo-Kazooie or Donkey Kong Country for the N64. That's definitely also, that there is definitely Perfect Dark. But um, yeah, that's, that's neither here nor there. So now you know. Right. Um... We've done that, so we need to uh, d -d 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 examine the doors. Right, so we've got pliers. So we're going to exit out now. That sign's going to come up on the TV. We're going to hear knocking. That will unlock the knock, knock uh, achievement. So now we've done that. So we're going to go into the parents' bedroom, which is the room that we start in. We're going to go into the bathroom, and now we're going to explore a piece of shit in the toilet to get a key. So we're going to go back. Then we're going to... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, we need to interact with the sink as well. No, we're not. We're going to go downstairs and actually activate the water first. Right. So we've now got the water going. We're going to interact with this sink in the bathroom again. We'll get a lock pick. There we go. Right, so then we're going to go back out to the corridor. The right door for the father's office. Uh, I thought that was what we did. No, sorry. I tell a lie. We're going to go through this door. This is what I was thinking of. Right, we're in the kitchen. We're going to get a key from the oven. Then we're going to go back upstairs. That's what I was getting confused with. Now with that key in the oven, we're going to go to the father's office. At this point, you'll unlock the father's office achievements. I can't remember what that's worth. I think that's not EG, but actually I'll tell you. Yeah, not EG. Okay, so now we've done that. We are going to... Uh, because we read the newspaper, it was the birth of the prophet who died in 2003. He was 47 years old. 2003 take 47 is 1956, which is the code that we need. There we go. We get our second battery. Right, so once we've done that, we're going to uh, go downstairs to the living room. We're going to use the remote with the batteries and it's going to send us forward into the opposite dimension and once it does this you will get the achievement for other dimension so once we've done that 
we are going to uh, exit the room. You'll see everything's changed. Again, we're not going to interact with the painting because the save file is fucked. Right, go back in there. There we go. Right, so we're going to get a test tube from this thing. Right, we are going to then uh, go in here. We'll get a beaker. And I'm going to read this out. To reunite your destiny, combine the same amount of liquid and resin, then add hot uh, sorry, of blood and resin, then add hot water. It is required to be a specific temperature, the atomic number of GE, which is now, that's random. In my previous playthrough, it was ND. So it's going to be the atomic number of whatever that symbol is. GE, I think that's Geridium, but I'm not sure. So if you just give me a moment, I am going to Google that. Atomic number of GE. Oh, Germanium. Uh, which is uh, 32. So we now know that number. So that's GE. On my previous playthrough, is neo it was Neodymium, which is 60. So you will, if you if you know your periodic table of elements, that atomic number of whatever will be the number that you're looking for. Uh, in my previous playthrough, it was 60, which is Neodymium. This is Germanium. So for this playthrough, it's 32 for me. Otherwise continue doing the exact same thing but you may need to google what the atomic number of whatever two letter it gives you is so with that being said we've uh, got the beaker now so what we're going to do uh, somebody remember 32 for me please so once we've done that we've got a beaker so we're going to go back to our parents bedroom now and we are going to go into the bathroom and get grease from this pipe in the test tube. So we've now got that. So we now actually have grease. We're going to go back down. We're going to go or back out of the bathroom. We're going to go back into here. And uh, we are going to... Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, yes, the wheel in my bedroom. So we're going to, we're going to put the grease in there. That's going to drain all of the blood. Thank you, Doobie. I really appreciate it. And I thought at first that this was a crash. It's actually part of the game, so apologies to anyone who suffers from epilepsy there. Uh, I probably should have warned you. Luckily, it was very brief. So hopefully that won't affect my epilepsy followers. But uh, maybe the developer could have thought of a different way to uh, initiate that. Hmm? Moving on. So, um, we have got the grease. We can now go downstairs. Right, we are now going to go into the living room where we will see a doorway to the left. We're going to gain uh, resin in there. We don't yet have blood, but no matter. Um, we have, so we've got the grease, we've got the resin, I've used the grease. Uh, oh yeah, I need to get a wooden plank. So we get this wooden plank down here. So we have, we now have a wooden plank, which we will kindly call Doobie. Doobie the wooden plank. <laughs> Love you, Doobie. Right. So um, we're now going to go up to the parents' bedroom. Uh, sorry, the parents' bathroom, because we now have a plank. We're going to get. Well, you see, there was a big pile of planks last time. It was Scorpion. Now it's you, Doobie. So we've got this organ. We're also going to uh, get blood from the bathtub. We're going to retreat out. Um, we are now going to just check this. Notice it's 2.45, but it's actually midnight. So that's wrong. So we, we need to remember that for future reference. We are going to go downstairs. We are going to go back to the living room. We're going to put the organ on there, which is the eye. So, uh, and that will pop the achievement, the eye achievement, which I believe was also 90 gamer score. We're going to go back to the bedroom and interact with the TV. Notice the shapes have rotated 180 degrees around. That's your clue. The shape thing goes missing there at this point. So the 180 degree is the clue. We see 10.05. We want to rotate that round to uh, 4.35. Which will then change the thing to an ear and will also uh, b -b 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 make us listen to this gong thing up here. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five. 
but just to make sure that it counts you want to click this alarm so it's 2.45 ahead so the clock the time we actually need is 7.45 so we are going to be doing that on the clock downstairs there we go so you'll notice that the organ's gone it will give us an unusual key which is odd because it didn't actually pop that achievement for me last time. 90 gamer score. I'll take it. Right, moving on. Uh, so yeah, that was Traveller Key. Um, we want to interact with the dresser. Um, atomic number, we already know, so that's 32. So we're going to uh, come through here with the unusual key. This will bring us back to the regular uh, world. We're going to go to the boiler, and uh, for you it will be a different number. It will be whatever your atomic number is. I'm putting in 32 because that was the answer for me, but for you the atomic number will be different. So if you googled whatever the atomic number was that I said uh, at that time, you'll know which number to put in here. So with that being said, that's now at 32, aka 90 Fahrenheit. We are going to continue on. We're going to go into the door on the left, which is in our normal world, which we've done. We're going to go through the far right door, which we've done. Um, so we now want to go to the hallway here and grab the medallion piece. We're going to go to the parents' bedroom. Oh, wrong, wrong room. We're going to examine this wardrobe. We've now got two bits of medallion which can go together. Right, so we're going to go into the bathroom. We're going to use the hot water. We have blood resin, so we've now got the key item for the medallion. Okay, so we're now going to go downstairs we're going to go back into the horror world we're going to use the medallion we're now in the horror world or other dimension whatever you want to call it okay now on the promotional stream I worked out what to do on the next following however um yeah, oh yeah, we need to interact with the sink. You'll see there's a switch. So we can now go into the other room, into the balcony, uh, balcony, the basement, go through the door. Yes, that's the point of no return, by the way. If you haven't got everything you need to, you've missed it. Right, so we're just going to put the medallion in the slot. That turns the fans off. Note the numbers, 250, 212.5, 325, and 387.5. Moving on. Um, we're going to go across this uh, balcony. We get another achievement, which again didn't pop for me. 90 gamer score for me. That's great. So, obviously we're speed running. So, now uh, the numbers that you want here are uh, 50, 37.5, uh, 62.5. Oh, too far. And on the, on the D, you want 75, which it is. Wonderful. Right, on computer number 2, you want 50, 50, 50, and 62.5. I think that was right. Oh, sorry, no, I tell a lie. Uh, D needs to be 100. So D needs to be 100, and D on this needs to be 62.5. Oh, bollocks. Okay, I, I actually did a different solution when I did this, but okay, let's just work this out. 75 on C. Okay, everything's right now. Okay, there we go. Right. Okay, so everything's right. It opens up this teleport tube thing. And on this, you talk to these guys. It doesn't matter. You can read the story if you want. It doesn't fucking matter. You can join them. It doesn't matter your option. Ending cutscene. There's the achievement. 100G. Game completion. Stop the clock.
thousand G in sixteen minutes twelve seconds. Um, if you like this achievement, please follow me at this Discord here, this Twitter here, and of course subscribe to YouTube right here. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves.